deep into that darkness peering. Long I stood there, wondering, fearing, doubting. dad on the way back because he's gonna freak me out, I bet you. It's good, isn't it? I wanna sit backwards. Okay, welcome to our vlog, or whatever we're calling it, vlog or vlog. So where we are is we're in, we're on Dorsey Island. So it's a small island. It's something like six kilometers by three kilometers or something like that wide. And it's basically off the southern tip of um, Cork, the Berra Peninsula. And um, so that's where we are today. So there's a cable car that you, you get across. It's Ireland's only cable car. There used to be other cable cars in Ireland, but that's the only one that's left. Just trying to manage this thing. You know? So um, we got the cable car across, which obviously you'll see in the video. So the guys are having a bit of a picnic here. And um, so it's lovely. It's beautiful. It's obviously early spring. It's currently the middle of April, isn't it? Late, mm. mid, late, mid to late April. What's today's date? 
the 19th? 19th. 19th of April. And um, so we're here today and we're very, we're very lucky. It's a beautiful, beautiful sunny day. And what we're doing is we've just walked up because the last trick cable car back is a half seven. It's only half five, coming up at half five, but we want to take our time getting back, don't we guys? Yeah. Um, so that's it. So the only eventful thing was, um, the only exciting thing so far apart from the cable car was my um, very expensive camera uh, decided to jump off the gimbal and um, throw itself onto the ground. And bounced how, off the ground. And bounced off the ground. And how it is not broken is uh, a miracle. I don't know, because it basically took some tumble, didn't it? Yeah. But it's a Lumix GH5, and I've heard that they are tough. And I have to say, it is tough. Now, I do have a, um, a lens hood on it that took the blunt, the brunt of it. Blunt, the brunt of it. But uh, yeah, it seems to be operating okay. So that's what we're doing. So what we're going to do is, let me just get you back in the guys. So what are we going to do, guys? What's the plan then? Gonna go back in a while. We found a bug in the Pringles. Get the car back over and, and then make a bit of dinner. Yeah, so let me just say now. So actually something something I forgot to mention was that um ooh right now. Something that I forgot to mention was what we're gonna do is for the first time in a long time, isn't it? Probably only our ever second time and I get some light on myself. The second time ever we're going to wild camp. We don't normally Normally we book in, but we're only planning on staying one night, and it's so far. Now there's some we passed some beautiful campsites on the way down. So Christian's if, first time to wild camp. Yeah. yeah. So if if we do get moved, there should be an issue with campsites on the way back. And um, there's some beautiful ones on the way down that we saw. Um, but we are we're going to wild camp um, on the mainland, not here on the island, and just stay in the van, and stay in the car park. Now they've signs up everywhere saying that you're not supposed to stay overnight and all that kind of stuff. But uh, on my travels, I've noticed that people do do it, and um, people do camp overnight in car parks and stuff like that, and uh, they don't seem to get moved on. They don't cause any trouble. But we'll see. We'll find out. It's just a bit of a test to see if we can kind of get away with it. But rather than um, rather than heading home because it is a four and a half hour drive, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to basically camp and stay in the van. So yeah, it's interesting because we've kind of built up a load of stuff in the van, you know, loads of various bits and pieces that we bring with us. Um, and what we did was we took it all out and left it at home, at home. So we're kind of camping a bit light today. So it's going to be interesting, isn't it? Well, at least for me anyway, right? Say goodbye guys. Gorgeous. Bye. Bye. It's the capital. Can I say a little song about Dublin? Of course it has bad language in it about Dublin. Only one bad word. Depends on what the level of bad word is it. Bye. Come on down. Same thing. So um, oh, this thing. We're uh, walking back. Try and get this level. So we're walking back. Oh, it's so hard to do this backwards. Ah. There I am. Okay. So, we're, we're heading back and the amazing thing is, it's sunny. Now, I have to say, I can get into the shot. This thing's backwards. Okay, so, what, what, uh, it, what is ironic, isn't it, Vanessa? What is ironic? is that, you see, it's a beautiful weekend. We're not taking the tent with us. We're wild camping, we're gonna stay in the van. And uh, because we're not putting up the tent, it's not raining, isn't that right? <laughs> so it's not- Look forward taking it down. It's not raining. Uh, is that too dark now? So it's not raining. And uh, I'm, par Ooh, I'm, par I'm paranoid now about this thing hopping off again. Yeah. But, um, hang on. Oh, I can't see it's backwards. So, yeah, and typically because now we, we don't, whereas if we'd have gone away, you could be guaranteed, we don't call the van the rainmaker for nothing. Isn't that right? Yep. It's because if we did, it'd be spilling rain now. Fashion. We'd be in the middle of putting up the tent or taking it down. Whereas now we're gonna try and sleep in inverted commas rough. And because it's rough, it's, it's gonna be beautiful. Now, now saying that, I have to say, it is nice to um, take the van 
in all its glory. And, and just use the van, so like the awning and the bed and the van and all that kind of stuff, and not have all the paraphernalia. What have we got it for in the first place? So it's nice to revert back to that. So there's a bit of a bit of experimentation going on here today to see, you know, how do we get on with this Are kind we of survivors? stuff? Survivors. Yeah. Like part of it is for me is taking the stuff out of the van and putting it all back in again and all that kind of stuff. But that only took like two minutes. Yeah. So yeah, so we'll see what we're gonna do and see how we get on. The obviously the obvious issue is someone come down and says we can't stay here overnight. But I think that's gonna be unlikely. You know. Because we are literally in the middle of nowhere. Mm, I but would imagine there's a big old uh, police force garden. Well, remember we went to um, Mizzenhead, which yeah. isn't a million miles from here, and we could see that people were definitely setting up this day. So that's what kind of got it into my head. So we'll just see. And again, seeing people, seeing, remember in Donegal, remember we saw, remember we saw the guys, oh, yeah. remember we saw the guys, um, we were in the, remember they were down by the, what's the cops? The harbour. Yeah. And uh, we were like, oh, they're just camping rough. They just parked up overnight, yeah. yeah. Now they're the proper campers, so they would have a toilet and all that kind of stuff as well. So we're going to have to make do with the porta potty, which is gross. So no poo. We all need to get back to the place here and use the toilet if you need to have a poo. Okay. Get your poo out of you. Dad? What? Are we going to Van Hostel this year? I don't know. VW might send us free tickets like they did last year, except we'd already bought some and we didn't need them. How come? So did you sell them? No, we didn't. We just said no, give them to someone else. It's what I should have almost sold my own as Vanessa had the brainwave, didn't you? Yep. Dad, why why did you why did you um why were they gonna give you? Why did they give us because because we spent a small fortune on a van and obviously it's sponsored by them. So what they're doing is they're Oh people are small flights. Yeah, because they, 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 they probably get an allotment van. of free tickets. They probably get a certain amount of free tickets and anyone who bought a California, they give them to them, they encourage them to go because it's advertising. I can only assume. So this year we're not gonna buy tickets. And they won't send us any, and therefore the answer is we won't go. But if they do send us free tickets, there will possibly be a part three of Van Festival. Yeah, well if we get free tickets, we'll definitely go. Yeah, because it's great there, it's just the tickets are like... Okay, this is getting heavy, can I switch off the video? Is that the last question? Yeah, okay. Yeah, right. Bye!
their headstones, look, see. Like this thing's here since before the 1600s, like so ancient. They're all little tiny, tiny headstones. Yeah. Amazing. I wonder what that is, some kind of monument. Oh, look at the cloud. The mist rolling in, look. I've been running round in circles, chasing my tail, and lost my way, seeking shelter in different corners, never finding a place to stay. Somehow ended up here. I know that I'm the ones that I hold dear, the ones I love. Thought that I would find the answers, drinking till my feet felt numb, just like Father did when I was young. I don't know how I could be so dumb. I've been lost far too long I can't see I'm trapped in darkness Life has turned it back on me it seems Brother, help me up, I've fallen down Have you ever felt like someone who's meant to be somewhere else? Caught inside a state of mind where nothing is really making sense. That's why I've been left here on the ground. Sister, help me up, I've fallen. 
I've been lost far too long. I can't see. I'm trapped in darkness. Life has turned it back on me. It would seem, brother, help me up. I've fallen down. Now we're back in the van. So this is the car park Brother, um, for the um, fallen down. The, the, the car, the cable car. So this is the car park. So the island is, the island is over there. If you can see it. And um, so what we're so it looks like most people have gone now. The cable car finishes at half, so it's 28 minutes past. So we're assuming it won't be running anymore now, and we more or less have the car park to ourselves. The only issue is that it's uh, at an angle that way down. So I'm contemplating backing the van up and then throwing the, the levelers underneath. But we'll do all that later. So this is the plan. The plan then is to sort of sort of stay here, isn't it? Yeah. And, and then uh, and then sleep here tonight and see how we get on. And um, hopefully we don't get moved. But as you can see, oops, there's loads of those signs everywhere. Can you see that? Loads of those everywhere. Can I see that? What? You don't need those. Oh yeah, I didn't mean to bring that. So that's the plan. So Vanessa has now began with the cooking. Uh, we're having our one of our favourites uh, in the restaurant. Steak and baguettes. Tesco finest. Uh, Irish Angus strip line steaks. Very nice. And uh, that's the thing. So we'll just sit here down and take it easy. So all well, the seats are turned into kind of seaty position. I hate turning this seat. Vanessa insists I do it, but I hate turning that seat because it's just such a palaver. And um, yeah, that's that. So plan is now to sit back and enjoy the show. I thought we'd get a nice sunset, but. No. I, don't, I don't think we're going to get one with that kind of sky, do you? No. It's very overcast now all of a sudden. It was lovely early. We got a nice, it's very sunny, but it's gotten cold. Alright, bye. Bye. Yes, another masterpiece from Vanessa. Very nice. So, one thing um, with the van is um, we have the gas, we have the main gas bottle, so that we have for the last, I mean the van is three years old now, isn't it? Mm. Was it March or February we got it? January. Oh, January, okay, January 2016 we got it, so she's over three years old. And we got the bottle of gas more or less then, so the main gas. So the question is how long does the gas last? Well, it's kind of like how long is a piece of string? It depends on how much you use it. So we've used it a fair bit and we still have it three years later. Now we tend to use those little small cookers a lot, don't we? Yeah. Um, so when we first got the van, we didn't really cook in the van. That was mainly because I didn't want to cook in the van because I thought the van would get wrecked and stink and stuff like that. Again, you might say, why? What's the point? But um, we've used it, obviously, when it was brand new. I paid a small fortune for it and I wanted to mind it. But, um, so we use those little cookers outside and we still use them, don't we? We, yeah. we used to use them a fair lot now, a fair bit, um, because they're super handy, especially when we have to tent and everything like that. But um, they, um, so the gas bottle, so what I'm gonna do is when we go home, I'm going to take the, because it tells you the weight of the gas canister and then you can calculate how much gas is left in it. So I'm going to try and figure out how much gas is left because obviously when we go away on our holidays during the summer, we're going to need to do a lot of cooking in the van, probably. Unless, well, we might end up cooking in the tent as well, wouldn't we? You'd never know. But at some stage that gas is going to run out. And it'd be just a pain in the neck for it to run out when we're away. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. I'm sure you can get it when you're on holidays anyway. I'm sure there's camping stores that'll have it. Right, what do you have? Some meat. Steak. Meat. Steak. Bleeding caveman. Right, bye. I don't know if you can see it. You can see a dolphin down there. Oh yeah, you see it there popping out. Yeah. Little dolphin. 
So that's the great thing about this, isn't it? It's a great thing about the van, getting to see things like that. camped it's very quiet there's no disturbances really at all and uh, it was um nice yeah it's pleasant slept re reasonably well uh, it's an awkward enough spot with three of us in it but um it was able to take everybody so you know so that's a good thing and it was quiet we weren't disturbed and nobody bothered us and uh, it was nice and pool in the van, so that's that. Dad? What? Do you still trust the gimbal? Yeah, it wasn't the gimbal's fault. Is it your fault? No. I caught the footage of, obviously, the camera <laughs> flying <laughs> off. I, it's on the laptop, I'll have to show you. I downloaded it. Do I you have the laptop here? Yeah. Oh. So. Okay. Didn't know that. I got the footage of it shooting off. Guess everybody's expressions. Well, me and Mammy's expressions are very funny. Anyway, so what was mine? I don't know. I don't know. I didn't catch you. I I didn't. I was I was like, wow, hold on. I wasn't really that like. Yeah. I was just like, oh my god. Oh my goodness. What, are you gonna stop talking? Cause I'm still recording. Oh my goodness. So as you can see, the island has disappeared uh -huh. into the fog. Vanessa has a beautiful view. Haven't you, Vic? Mm-hmm. It's just lovely out doing that. And uh, that's the thing. So what I did last night was um, we moved the van. We moved, hang on now. We moved the van, so the van was parked in this way. But what I did is I've, I've parked it long ways, say, in relation to the edge of the cliff, because it's flat, because we were parked and it was a dip, so parking it this way is slightly flatter. So it's slightly more, but it is at a slight incline, but also means that we knew when we opened the door in the morning, at least this way we have, while well, we're here, because we're in no rush, we have, we'd be able to cook and have a look out the door and have a look at the sea and everything, which is beautiful. So the plan now is today is to head, is it into Donny? Is that what I said? Yeah. Is it into Donny? Yeah. So the plan is to go to into Donny Beach. Uh, it's a beautiful beach. Never seen it before, but it's it's renowned as being a beautiful beach, so that's the plan. So, get something to eat here. Feel my bottom, mate. I do. Yeah, they're dry. You need to drink some water. So, um, that's the plan. That's the plan, right? I'm my hair. Bye. My hair.
So here we are again. Eating again. Eating again. Eating. But this, this, for anyone who has a California, you'll know, hopefully, hopefully you will, you'll know this feeling of where, especially if you have wild camp, there's something extra special about camping wild, isn't there? Hmm. Because I think when you go to the campsites, it's great, but it's like, it's like saying, I'm gonna describe it, it's like staying in your house in a housing estate, whereas this is like a tent in a forest. Do you know what I mean? There's a sort of, they're both dwellings, but they're, they're t just totally different. So I think staying, wild camping. That's how I'm looking forward to coming back to Scotland because we stayed on campsites in Scotland, but I think the next time I go over, I'm going to just camp wild everywhere. But anyway, this is the beauty now. We can just sit here, look out the window and have our lovely breakfast. What's wrong? There's a bit of mold on my bread. Mold on your bread? Mm. Sure it's brand new bread, isn't it? Mm. Also known as fresh bread. It's the bread in the house. Oh. Oh well. If I don't finish the video, you know it's because we died of food poisoning. Okay, goodbye, bye. Cable car there and I'm moving, it's eerily quiet. That's, that's not, just, just rolls along. So quiet. Amazing. Yeah, it's nice on the edge, isn't it? But the fire's really coming in. We've had to move it twice. 